Welcome back to my channel. How y'all doing? Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. All day, y'all. If you are a new uh, subscriber, and I'm sure I have uh, quite a few on this week. First, I want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And um, you have officially been uh, labeled as a sub puppy and i thank you all and if you just continue to rock with me i promise you i will not i will not um i will not lay you down okay all right okay y'all this is what i want to talk about this week okay um let's talk about ubering and anxiety mm. all right some of my uber drivers if you are one or if you're not an uber driver please feel free to comment subscribe thumbs it up give me your thoughts on this uh on this topic okay Y'all, we are experiencing a lot of uh, anxiety more than normal. And believe it or not, I'm sharing this with you all. I personally suffer from anxiety. I know it doesn't seem like it, but um, we all come in all shapes, sizes, and forms. So, But anyway, if you are not familiar with what uh, anxiety is, anxiety basically is just um, a person who pretty much gets like overwhelmed they overthink things or they have unwanted thoughts or they have a fear of something. Instead of really talking about it, we'll suppress things in so long or so far to where it's like a um, a boiling pot of hot water. You know how you sit that on the stove for so long and you just put it on a low temperature, but after a while, you know, eventually throughout the day, if you leave that uh, pot on the stove for so long, it does gain heat. It just keeps gaining heat, and then all of a sudden it starts boiling. And when it starts boiling, it's just out of control if we don't uh, keep a lid on it or if we don't turn the heat down just a little bit. So that's pretty much what it is. It's like being overwhelmed and holding our feet to the fire, and instead of us saying something when it first comes out, we just we overwhelm ourselves, and it comes out in either a different form of, of outburst. Uh, some people may go into the bathroom, cry, or some people may deal with it, um, I don't know, in, in, in other behavior ways. And so um, if you are one who deals with that, you know, the best thing I can tell you to do is to um, take a deep breath whenever you feel like a anxiety or panic attack is coming on. You know, just kind of talk to yourself in your mind. And it's a little bit difficult if you have a passenger in your car what you want to do is me just try to, you know, take deep breaths in your mind and, and look at how long you got before you can get that passenger out the car. And before you go to your next passenger, just kind of pull over a minute, get out of the car, stretch, um, get, get your breathing under control, you know, and kind of, you know, some people break out in sweats or whatever. And I know it's not easy while you're out here taking people, strangers from one place to another, and sometimes you can, it can overwhelm you. And sometimes, you know, we got the mask on. We really can't see people's face. And we just, like, we are wondering from one minute to the next, you know, do we, are we safe or whatever. And sometimes we we uh, we kind of fake it until we get the person out of the car. And then if you feel like me, I just take a deep breath. And if you do that so many times a day and putting different people in your car, it wears you out. And at the end of the day, you know, you, uh, you have maybe some type of outburst or... Uh, behavior or you're restless or you know it's just it's just different it comes out in different ways um so y'all come in and and let me know you know what your experience is in having some type of anxiety some people have sweats sometimes i could just be in the car and i could just burst out in a sweat haven't done anything not hot not cold or anything but sometimes your inner thoughts you know um can overwhelm you and um it's just it can be a bit much and um, talk to your significant other. I have the best significant other ever that helps me through that, you know. And I really don't know what I would do without him. I really honestly don't. But um, that, that you have to have someone that's in your corner that understands what you're going through and how to help you get past that uh, episode. It's like a uh, being in a tornado, you know, if you can relate. It's like being in a tornado and it's like it's on, like a sp something spiraling and spinning out of control yeah, for about a good five, six minutes, you just need something to hold on to or somebody to hold on to until it passes. But 
you can do it. But try not to sit in your car if you're driving passengers, you know, uh, all day. Try to uh, take a break in between. You know, it's not good to sit in your car like that in closed areas that long without having a break or using the bathroom or getting something to drink, you know, or getting out, stretching your arms and your legs. And uh, sometimes when I Uber, I just, after three or four hours, you know, you know, all money is okay, you know, it's good. But sometimes at, at some point you have to use wisdom and turn off your app and take you some, take you a 30 minute or an hour break. And then you refresh yourself and refresh your mind. You can go ahead on. It makes, it makes it safe for you. And it makes it safe for the passenger as well. So uh, y'all hang in there. Y'all can do it, okay? Just kind of remember some of these tips. And also, too, try to eat a well-balanced diet and try to sleep. And people who have anxiety, sometimes we can't sleep throughout the night. We may do four, five. Mm, we good if we get six in. But uh, try to, uh, you know, just, uh, I I'm a TikTok watcher. Try to turn some of that TikTok off or your favorite program, try not to sleep with your TV on. If you're expecting to go out that next morning, you're going to want to get your proper rest. And it helps you uh, talk to your passengers better. And if sometimes one out of 10, you may get somebody who wants to be a butthole and it help you to kind of, you know, be able to deal with them as well. You know, just put the pedal to the metal and get the ass out of there. That's what I say. But anyway, that's what I really wanted to kind of talk about, kind of touch on. And here next week, y'all, we'll talk about some more um, uh, happy things. You know, and some more uh, drama that's been going on in my car. And I'm sure y'all going to want to hear about this one here on next week. But anyway, uh, this is your girl, Sharon. And I love y'all. And when I come back on next Friday, y'all, guess what? Yes, the girl will have her new smile. So you all pray for me. I go to the dentist on uh, this Monday. And uh, they will be uh, giving me a brand new smile. And so, but either way it go, whether they give me a brand new smile or not, you have to be happy with yourself. You know, even if you're in a broken space right now, you know, you still got to find a way to fight your way through and pull your way out of certain things, you know, so that God can get the glory at the end of the day. You know, if you are a believer, God can get the glory. But again, if you have any type of an anxiety issues, and if you feel like some of the t tips that I told you, if this is not working for you, hey, don't worry about it. It doesn't hurt to go talk to a counselor or talk to a therapist or talk to anybody to try to help you, you know, with these episodes, you know. Maybe your significant other can only do so much and you might have to take it outside and go and get some professional help. It doesn't mean that you're crazy. It doesn't mean that, you know, you're weak. It's just saying, I'm even speaking for myself. It's just saying that you're just trying to find a better way to handle uh, certain issues that come up with you. But trust your loved one. Trust your significant other to try to help you get through it because the love is the, is the key to everything. And if you have love, you can get through anything. All right. So y'all meet me again on next week. And I love y'all and thank y'all so much for your support. See y'all Friday. Peace.